Here are some highlights from our recent cruise to Bimini, Bahamas. Um, this was a three-day sailing. We left out of Port Canaveral. Sit back and enjoy. Here are a few shots from our balcony uh, cabin. We were portside, and no cruise would be a cruise if you did not make your first stop to the Lido deck for a delicious guys burger. And pinkies up for cheers to the first night. And another stop that you must make, especially when you're headed to the casino, is a stop to Cherry on Top. Um, if you have a sweet tooth, you're sure to find something here uh, to quench that. One of the things that I did find that I noted to be very new was these new sanitation stations that allows you to wash and dry your hands prior to entering the store and prior to your exit. These are fairly new as I did not notice these on my last selling, which was in May of this year. And here we did take advantage of attending the Christmas musical that they had. Um, very top notch. The uh, singers as well as the dancers. Um, the the play was it was outstanding. I really did enjoy it. Um, it really put you in the Christmas spirit. Um, uh, everything was great with that. And this is why having a balcony cabin is worth every single cent. Being able to walk out and have such views, it is absolutely priceless, breathtaking. And here now the best part, we made it to port. We are in Bimini, Bahamas. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we made our way to the trolleys. Uh, they have trolleys that come every 15 minutes. They are free. I think they make about four different stops. Um, one um, goes to the um, casino. Um, then there's the 360 Beach World Resort. Um, there are several stops that usually give you a little pamphlet. Um, and the person who's driving they'll always let you know um, which stop it is and where you need to get off we actually got off at stop two that is a stop that has all of the golf carts for rental um, this island is beautiful it is what i call in this authentic state because it has not yet been commercialized as you see in nassau and things of that nature this uh, particular island is only about seven miles in length and again, it's very authentic, um, has not um, become um, overly commercialized, and that's what we really enjoy. We did rent a golf cart. Be really careful when you do go and rent the golf carts that you don't take the first prize that they give you. I've become pretty much a pro at, if you want to call it, haggling, because I know how the game works. We did rent a golf cart for all three of us. Um, it was only $90 for the entire day at port, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Um, we thoroughly enjoyed it. We had the freedom to be able to ride, you know, um, go and you know, mingle, intertwine with the locals to find out, you know, how they live. Um, we were able to go into a lot of the shops. Um, I met a beautiful woman who runs her own shop just directly in front of her house, Miss Antoinette, that had um, handmade handbags. You'll see that also in this clip. And just absolutely uh, perfect. I would advise that if you visit Bimini, that you do rent a golf cart. Um, right here, we were able to make ourselves down to this popular um, location that all tourists seem to um, go to it is actually um, the shipwreck and it is just behind the cemetery um, you can see us making our way to it um, it's a photo um, 
site. Most people um, that visit here definitely um, make their way here to actually see that shipwreck and to get photos in front of it. Um, beautiful, pristine waters. Um, those Caribbean waters are preferred, perfect. Um, then here, uh, we've actually settled down at the beach uh, where we was enjoying some cocktails and food. The weather was perfect. I think it was about 80, 83 degrees that day. And we absolutely loved every minute of it. Um, we sat on the beach. When we got tired of the beach, we got back on our golf carts and we did more touring of the island. But this island, again, is pretty much untouched if you are to compare it to many of the other Caribbean islands that you see in just that, again, it has not been commercialized um, thus far. Bimini is a must-see. Beautiful every day. And here you see the beachside uh, huts or uh, little shacks or restaurants that uh, serve a myriad of um, island foods that are easily accessible. Uh, they bring you the menus down, you can order, and they deliver right to your beach chairs. Very nice. And here you'll see that we took the golf carts out for more touring of the island and getting out to mingle with some of the locals and shopping in some of the local shops. Oh, here is All the shop that I, I spoke of earlier in the video. Uh, the owner is Miss Antoinette and she has handmade bags in there. Now it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy comedy hour. Um, at the comedy club with a few cocktails. And here we were on our way to Captain's Dinner. Um, it's very nice. See, people are getting up and they're doing the usual dancing and having a good time. The menu was pretty good. Um, the usual there, I had some uh, shrimp pasta. Um, the rest of the pictures you'll see here are some shots from the steakhouse of which we reserved for our first night there on the ship, which is always lovely. If you go on the first night on embarkation night, Please remember to always ask for your free complimentary bottle of wine. So this was, again, a three-day cruise to Bimini, Bahamas. It was a nice time. Bimini is a beautiful island if you've not visited it. I would recommend that you do so. Um, again, I hope that you enjoy the video. And next time you're looking for a destination and you want to stay um, quick down and back, I'd recommend again Bimini Bahamas.